Hello friends, welcome to the lab text. My name is Nasser and uh, today we have a case study, a very special case study for you guys. Uh, we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 motherboard and uh, as you can see here, it's the part number NM-D031 and uh, I have received this uh, motherboard, only motherboard uh, with massive damage like you can see here that uh, this is a 3.3 and 5 volt regulator so here is the area where 3.3 volt is available and uh, 5 volt is uh, you can see here the track is short if I try to use the new IC it get burns because uh, from here this is the pin number uh, 1 or 2 and here this is point sparks and uh, whenever I try to use the new IC it get burns so I have a very manageable work here however I have done it so first of all let me introduce about this motherboard many time I have received this motherboard it comes with 8 generation also it comes with 10 generation as you can see that this is the processor here and uh, srgkf if you search it you will find on the google that uh, it is a 10 generation motherboard so the thing is that if we receive this type of motherboard uh, the problem is that if you never have done like this types of manageable work then what is the problem you will face here that uh, when you connect uh, buck regulator like I have connected it here so when you connect the buck regulator here the problem is that uh, you have to face uh, two things here one is that from where you will give a power good signal and from where you will uh, give the LDO supply because uh, if you try to connect the 3.3 volt LDO to 5 volt LDO it will not work because it is responsible to enable your NVIC or LVIC this is the LVIC so this is the LVIC which is responsible to generate your RAM regulator your uh, VPP uh, uh, regulator like uh, 2.5 volt and also it is responsible to generate 1.8 volt uh, regulator and uh, this IC requires 5 volt VCC which is coming from LDO. I will come to the schematic and I will tell you the logic that uh, how this IC will function. Now uh, the problem is here that uh, you have no LD 5 volt LDO as of now because this is the buck regulator and which has the PWM and you will get confused that uh, whether uh, you have to give 3.3 volt LDO to enable the LVIC which is responsible to generate various type of uh, uh, re multi regulator but here we have done some manageable work and I would like to disclose all the uh, tips to all of you this is my humble request to all of you to watch this video till end so that you can grasp the concept because this is the most common case in IdeaPad 3 and uh, as I have discussed that uh, it comes with 8th, 9th and 10th generation and uh, this is the most common case of IdeaPad 3. But before uh, we begin the case study discussion, I would like to tell you something, a good announcement to all of you guys uh, as we are going to uh, launch an uh, offer for all versions like Hindi as well as English so the first time we are providing offer in English uh, video course so you can get advantage of this now let's come to the uh, point this is the new year offer which will begin from 15 January and uh, this is the most advanced course we have ever launched uh, the full of knowledge and full of uh, uh, concepts videos we are bringing in this uh, session but one thing I would like to tell you in mid 
that uh, few of the guys who is trying to sell our video and uh, as we have discussed uh, the guy and we are trying to prohibit uh, the guy that uh, you don't have right to do so as uh, let me tell you what we have discussed to that guy Dildar as you know him he has uh, discussed with the guy and he told that uh, why you are selling I don't want to mention the country name and uh, uh, I don't want to mention the name of the guy also uh, this is a very pity thing but uh, one thing we have done we have lost FIR against him and those guys who is uh, supporting him we are taking very hard step uh, against them and uh, now you can see that how he was reacting when we have trying to condemn the guy he told that I am not selling your video I am selling books okay and uh, the next uh, part I would like to show you that uh, what he is saying that whatever he is uh, selling is not the video which is taken from our website but the video he is selling is from YouTube so beware uh, uh, to these types of guy who is selling our video downloading from the YouTube and uh, trying to sell it and trying to earn money for their vested interest now uh, I would like to announce one thing here that uh, we have never kept all the video in one place if you are my student you better know about these things uh, we have oklaptop.com we have uh, laptoptraininginstitute.com we have various types of uh, platform for the video guys few video we keep in some place few video in some place and moreover this is the setup which you have seen now this is for those guy who has completed their theoretical course and we are going to provide them the practical live session like this types of case study as you have seen here so guys let's come back to the story in fact uh, the purpose of showing uh, that thing is that I uh, all I want you to don't be trapped in that kind of uh, fraud that is why I am trying to warn you that don't be trapped in uh, any type of fraud uh, the matter is that uh, the video is nothing the thing is here that uh, how much uh, you are getting support how much you are feeling confidence after having videos if you have any query in the video where do you ask many things are uh, hiding in uh, before the videos so that is why it was very necessary to make this uh, video uh, to inform you all guys that uh, the guy who is selling our video is not belonging to us so now let's come back to the uh, case study and uh, as we always uh, try to give you uh, the crucial information uh, like this type of video but from now I will try to uh, make video from my uh, own setup from my home setup and uh, here what is the advantage that uh, I have no calls I have no disturbance I can make live case study for you guys and uh, this is the first case study I am making for you and I would like to show you that uh, what I have done here since I cannot show you display I cannot uh, I cannot uh, uh, show you amperage here because this is the just a beginning here and uh, now I'm trying to improve my uh, setup as you can see here so this is the case study which I have done now and uh, I'm trying to sh share this information to all of you guys however many time I have done this type of work see here that uh, it is very easy to uh, connect LDO as you know that there are the uh, four terminals the negative and positive and uh, where is the, the two is the input negative and positive and uh, one is the negative po positive output and you have to connect where where you are required voltage so in this architecture uh, we have s5 voltage always voltage is available so we have given 5 volt to the external point of the coil 
and uh, two more, um, uh, most important point is, is still uh, left one is your uh, LDO and uh, one is your power good since there is no IC so you can say that it is open drain you need not to uh, and there is nothing to stop that power good voltage and power you know very well power good voltage is always taken up pull up from 3.3 volt so 3.3 volt regulator is absolutely right and uh, we are getting the power good voltage on the mm, given uh, register both side and that power good is essential to initialize your LVIC 1.8 volt as you can see on the diagram of uh, this particular model and uh, LDO you have to give uh, but before that before you are going to apply the LDO where you have to uh, apply you are going to give from the always voltage or S5 voltage to the LDO but some of the time it is a little bit risky because uh, higher current is there and uh, LDO has the less current so you can you can connect uh, LDO point uh, with the help of 10 ohm register you can also manage like that we have done but directly also it works so you can connect LDO to to uh, disseminate the track why because uh, if there is the track usually in Lenovo you will get S5 track as well as LDO track okay the PJP and JP uh, would be named two track would be connected with the help of that uh, jumper point you just have to disconnect it in order to save your shorting point because that might be short from the burn area this is the burnt area and that could damage your buck regulator that is why you have to disseminate it you have to isolate it and then you have to connect with 5 volt s5 the same point the very point you have to connect for you have connected the buck regulator and this will work this is my guarantee okay so and now the display has come we have checked it on the HDMI everything was working fine I have never seen uh, the display in on the uh, display panel on the uh, on the screen area because I don't have the EDP uh, connector or LVDS connector so we receive motherboard bare motherboard and we repair it and we uh, provide to the customer and he says that it's working or not but when it previous my previous experience is that it works that that is why on the ground of that I am giving you my guarantee so you can apply this type of manageable work very easy uh, whether it is the first generation or 10 generation doesn't matter you only have to care that what you uh, what logic you are going to apply on the motherboard so hopefully that uh, this short information may help you to uh, boost up your knowledge and uh, if you really like this video please hit the like button and uh, if you have any query about the course and uh, if you have any uh, question any about anything you can leave on the comment box and uh, if you wish if you want that uh, this type of information uh, you are required so kindly subscribe our channel because we try to update uh, new things whatever we receive and we uh, get experience so hopefully guys see uh, we will see in the next video and uh, keep on uh, watching our video and liking our videos thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video